You're listening to another round of With Just 15 Defeats, the heavyweight boxing show coming live from the UK. I'm T Cozy, and thanks for joining me. Now, I'm here to talk about a big heavyweight clash that's happening this week. As you know, if you've been watching my channel, I've previously discussed the brown Chagir fight. And now, interestingly enough, there's another heavyweight fight that could get a little bit interesting this week. And this fight is Tony the Tiger Thompson versus Luis Ortiz. Now this fight, it's not what we expected. It's a bit of a last minute thing, but let's take it. I think it could be a little bit of an interesting fight. We just have to wait and see. And to be perfectly honest, I think most, most people are going to be saying Ortiz is going to win. And look, I'm no different. I think he probably will win, but there is a caveat, right? A lot of people are getting on the bandwagon of Luis Ortiz. A lot of people think he's going to be the next big thing. He's going to, he's going to take over this div- division. But to be honest, I was one of the few people out there who wasn't overly impressed with Luis Ortiz's last fight against Jennings. I thought it was slow, pedestrian, and somewhat fairly even. And you can check out my breakdown of that on the channel, so go and check that out. And um, <laughs> Ortiz, yeah, he wasn't he wasn't brilliant in that fight. I think a lot of people got excited because it was a stoppage. And the fact is, they're just getting to know Ortiz. He's coming into the limelight, and he's got that look. He looks... Like what you, what you would think of as a beast. So he's halfway there. He's big. He's powerful. He's incredibly wide. It's quite crazy how wide he is and how wide looking he is. He, he he's he's a monster. Um, but the simple fact of the matter is, is that he hasn't been in the ring with a lot of top quality talent. For for my money, it was a big step up to Jennings in his last fight, and yep, he got the stoppage, but Jennings was in that fight, Jennings was definitely in that fight, and personally I think Jennings was winning a fair few rounds, Um, so it's not all roses for Ortiz, okay, but when we move on to the opponent, this is the interesting factor, Tony the Thompson, he's going to come in bigger, yeah, he's going to come in bigger, but the problem is, he's going to come in older, he's 44 years old, 44 years old in heavyweight division, yet we've seen these old guys win titles throughout the years, and it's possible that they can keep going, but Tony Thompson, he is slow, he is slow, and he's old, and in this division, there's so many young bucks who are quick, nimble, and powerful, so Thompson doesn't really have much of a future, I think, in this division, but in this fight, I I think there's the potential for it to be competitive. Now, Tony Thompson, he does have KO power, he has KO power um, in his career, let's just check, he's got 27 KOs from 40 wins, and he was on a massive run of, of knockouts until relatively recently, like what, I say relatively recently, since the second Klitschko defeat, um, he's had a number of um, fights where he's gone the distance. Now, Ortiz, he has not gone the distance. He doesn't have that experience. And the fact is that we know that Ortiz, in his last fight, seven rounds. And it, to be honest, he was fading. He was fading. That's, that's just a fact, right? So the problem with Tony Thompson is that he's durable. He's powerful. He will keep going. He will not stop until he gets basically knocked out. That's kind of what happened with the Klitschko's. They were against Klitschko. So let's wait and see. If Ortiz can't blow him out early, I think it's going to be a a, a very competitive fight. It's going to be a very competitive fight. And we need to see whether Ortiz can really step up to it. He probably can. And if he can pull off a stoppage, a stoppage of Tony Thompson, 
I think it's going to be incredibly impressive. Now, yep, Tony Thompson's old. He's on the end of his career. He has been beaten. He has been stopped. But we know he's only been stopped by Klitschko, who was the the top man in the division for years and years. And when he stopped Tony Thompson, he was on an unbelievable run. So, it's for my money, if it's a stoppage win to Ortiz, it's a, it's a, it's a genuine statement, even though this is kind of like a keep busy fight and a last minute opponent, it, it, it's a good, credible result. So, let's just check the, the actual odds of what um, the bookmakers are, are offering this fight. And uh, I'm just looking, and they've got Luis Ortiz as 1-16, to 16, which is ridiculous odds. Where they've got Tony Thompson fifteen to two, so it's a massive swing. They can't see; they really can't see a way where Luis Ortiz doesn't win this fight. It's a massive swing. It's it, 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 they think Ortiz, and you get some great great value on Tony Thompson. Um, so I would say, don't even bother putting a bet on it. You're not going to win anything on this fight. So let's wait and see. Let's see whether Tony Thompson can survive an early onslaught and take Luis Ortiz into the trenches. And we're really going to see whether Luis Ortiz has what it takes to take it to the next level. And we know from the WBA Championship that he's in that and he has to fight Ustinov. Um, I don't know whether that fight is still going to go ahead, but if it does go ahead, I think that's a really interesting fight as well before going on to the Fury Klitschko battle. So it's all hotting up in the heavyweight division and thanks for watching this and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next round.